Condor quick release, isn't it? Yep, QPC. All right. I'm digging it. All right, we'll get some data points. guys I have covered several items from Condor Condor outdoor some guys don't like the overseas produced stuff I get it understood but what if you just don't have any money and you still want to have some carry capabilities uh, from some gear which I think is pretty high quality depending on what item it is SHOT Show 2011 this is nothing fancy thanks for joining me let's talk about some specifics of Condor looking at the SR25 M14 pouch I did not do a specific review on that it's a good pouch currently however there are some issues with spacing on the current version I'm here to con at Condor telling them about it and that might have been just one batch I don't know but lightweight affordable and check out the multicam coloration and unlike a lot of other pouch options, the elastic is not too strong. Okay, I actually like it and it snaps. One thing, oh by the way, I'm gonna to talk to Andy from Condor. What's up Andy? How you doing? Thanks for talking with us. We've actually had some good off-camera conversations already. Right. He's reluctant, by the way, to be a uh, celebrity, he says. <laughs> so bear with Andy. Okay, uh, a lot of your stuff is squared away. Seriously, your soft shell that I reviewed, this thing right here, yep. is excellent. Thank you. Love it. It's selling like crazy too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Really good sa sales. Uh, some guys will say, oh, you know, I want to buy you know, a more expensive US made option, but uh, I don't know if I ever want to spend $400 or $300 for a yeah. soft shell jacket. It's I'm affordable. just not up for that. Exactly. It's affordable. It's awesome. I also reviewed your fleece. This this isn't it here, the one I reviewed. It's probably this one. Right yeah, it's that one right there. Fleece jacket? Yeah, that's a great fleece too. Love it. I like the sizing on it too. It's, it's like I have long arms, so it fits well. Um, those are home runs if you ask me in the Condor Tactical lineup. By the way, those were hard to get for a while, weren't they? Yeah, they were about a month and a half back ordered with us. Are they still back ordered? Yeah. It's the man is too high for it. I think it's your review that did the job. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, hang on, let me swap some batteries in my uh, <clears throat> flashlight, my high tech show lighting, uh, and I'll resume here in just a sec. Condor outdoor products. All right, got some lighting going here in the cave that is this portion of the shot show. Love the kangaroo pouch, by the way. Size and weight efficient, so much so I broke it out into its own video. I just gave uh, Condor some feedback, honest feedback of how they should improve the attachment straps of most of their pouch systems. As I mentioned in my reviews, there's too much nylon webbing and I actually had to sew it at the top to make it retain tighter. All right, so they got the message. Hopefully they'll change that, upgrade it. I like the elastic on their pouches. It's not too strong. I think I may have said that. Love the multicam too and the strapping. You didn't know this, this is not just fabric right here folded over. There's actually webbing inside that fabric, right Andy? Yes. So that's strong stuff, what you're saying. It helps, it's not just the fabric itself. Okay, uh, I think maybe one reason the US manufacturers are not doing that is because it's so labor intensive uh, to do that. True. Is that hand or machine sewed? Machine. Is it? Yes, okay. Machine. Maybe wrong on that, wouldn't be the first time. There's some other mag options, uh, mag pouch options. I haven't tested that one from Condor. Again, I want those straps to be ultra, ultra tight, bro. Sure. Ultra tight, because when we load those down, not airsoft, we're talking real guns, each magazine's one pound. So that, and that's, that's six pounds right there with six AR-15 M4 mags. There's uh, one of their magazine, uh, can't speak, their holsters. Uh, I have one of those in that fancy project, testing it. The retention is very critical. Not holding the pistol I'm talking about, that's important too, but I'm talking about how it attaches to Molly. It can't wiggle around, it's gotta be consistent. Really lock on to whatever panel it is. Speaking of panel, there's one right there. Condor variety, also in multicam. Again, this is made in China. Sorry, if you don't like it, I understand. I'm respectful to that, but there's a lot of guys that otherwise would not be able to hook into this type of gear 
Uh, and honestly, a lot of the items that I've reviewed with Condor already are super high quality for what you're paying. Okay. Super. I mean, this magazine pouch may have some issues right here. Hopefully, they square it away. I'm talking the spacing on the Molly strapping. But I think uh, through Cheaper Than Dirt, I was paying heck. Something cheap. 12 bucks or something? I wouldn't know. Whatever it is, it's like one one fourth the price of what I'd pay elsewhere for other maybe U.S. made stuff. And don't get me wrong, I like a lot of the U.S. manufacturers. We're gonna talk to some great stuff, very high quality levels. But the question is, uh, how much money do you have? We had a really good off-camera conversation though on a lot of these things. But I got to be honest and cover them on camera. All right, this is your quick release plate carrier, correct? Yes, sir. All right. This I have worn, I have used it. You haven't seen a review yet, not yet. Uh, one thing, and I think it's kind of a showstopper that I would like to see improvement on, is if you could undo that front portion, because I'm camera lighting man, is that front panel is the most critical portion of your load bearing equipment. And what we're lacking under here is Velcro, or some way to make it attach to this surface right here. Because again, I'm running up to eight pounds on that. And so right now, as that is, you fold that over, it attaches well underneath, just like you're doing. But what I found is that I have some flopping. Like that. All right. Okay? So if you guys could look at that, next version, improve it, you know, send it out and I'll test it for you. Sure. All right, and we'll see how it is. Other than that, that is a squared away quick release plate carrier for a lot less than you're going to find anywhere else. Notice the mesh lining, the stitching, the multicam, and is that licensed multicam? Yes. Okay, because I see the tags on, tag on there, and that's what I said in my reviews, that that is licensed from multicam for you to use. Yeah, we've always been using it. There you go. Love the colors on it, and just like the MOPC, which I reviewed very positively, there's not much to, uh, not much else I don't like about it. Again, uh, I'll have to deploy that quick release feature a couple times to know for sure. Um, there you go. That's that one. Oh, there's another one that's kind of funky for me. That's the MPC. I'm not too fond of that one. Uh, it's attachment. Do you have one down here on the showroom floor that we can look at? The attachment system on that is just kind of funky. Is that designed after another, uh, like another standard version? I don't know if you want to say. Here, lay it on the floor over here, brother. This is like an early, early version that we did. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, we probably didn't do much R&D on it. Yeah, it really sucks. Here's why. Open it up and show them the interior of it. You know, I'm a pretty tactical guy, and I can figure a lot of stuff out. But when I opened this up, I was... I was a little bit at a loss of how to put that on quickly. It's got an inner belt system right here. Right. Okay, and then it's got like these on the side. It, it's just a little bit complex for me, you know? But most people do like this feature. Yeah. It says it's more support. Do they? Yeah. Have they wore your MOPC? It's, it actually distributes the weight a lot better. Does it? have a come up on. Yeah. All right. Well, different strokes for different folks. Um, it, that's not the only thing, though. If we close it up, this way? let me tell you this, too. To be honest, I haven't run, uh, run and gun with this yet. Sure. I've just worn it. So, you know, maybe I'd find something out about it that I didn't know before. If I fold it like this, okay, mm -hmm. I'm always banging into this, okay? And actually, with my gloves that I usually wear, my mechanics wear gloves, I'm actually catching that Velcro, and this actually peels up in use. That's number one. Number two is I think the intention on this was to have it carry magazines. Is that right? Yes. Okay, way too deep for a mag. Your magazine's going to go bye bye in there, you know, unless you're carrying a 40 rounder. So if you're doing this, I think stitch it at the bottom so your magazine is kind of protruding. Right. Or better yet, I would make this a plate pocket. Okay, so I can put a soft armor, hard armor plate in there. We have and, heard feedback where the actually people cut this stitch off. Right. Uh, and actually did use it as a side armor pocket. Okay. Side plate pocket. And yeah, that's a good user mod that you can do. Uh, okay, we'll just leave it at that. Again, I haven't had extensive shooting experience with it yet. All right. The attachment system on that, though, for me is like, compared to what else is out there, like, for instance, your MOPC, that's a really quick vest to get on and off. It's very stable. Uh, I've, I've ran without a lot. Still highly recommended in the Nut and Fancy project. A little bit funky on that. But like you said, this is an earlier product. Right. It All is. right. Cool. Here's some pouches from Condor. Anything you want to say about this? Laptop Andy? Case. That's a laptop pouch right there? That's a laptop case. That's correct. And a little fanny pack right there? Yep. 
Um, you're using mostly 500 denier now? Uh, um, some of the big items we are using 500, but um, some pouches we're still staying with that 1,000. Okay, let me show you this backpack from Condor. Not that one, too small for me. Uh, over here, yeah, grab it and bring it over here if you could, Andy. They've got some customers over there. Condor, look how dark this room is, dudes. Way dark. That's why I'm having to self-light over here. Throw it on the floor, bro. That looks familiar. That looks like a 511. You want me to take out the bag? Uh, no, we can just show it to you. One thing that strikes me about this pack is how light it is. Very lightweight. And that's because it's made of 500, not 1,000 denier fabric. In shot 2010, I did a couple booth reviews and I was really driving that point home, like Blackhawk in the USA, telling them that, uh, you know, that's kind of where we need to go with it. Otherwise, it's just too heavy. Uh, features on this pack are pretty amazing. Lots of room. I've, I can't zip it open right now because I've got, you know, camera and light and stuff. Take it from me, though, it's a pretty cool pack. Yeah, go ahead. Here's your drop down panel. Check some this out. Is inside. And look at this, guys. See, there's seam taping on the interior. There's no exposed seam. That's nice. Good zippers on that. Yeah, got an organizer in front. Yep. You got lining in here. So you could actually stick your patches in here if you don't want to show it. Cool. Uh, your tool pocket on the side. If it's a water bottle, if it's a power supply, pretty good for a laptop. I can't believe it. Andy's actually giving a review of the product. <laughs> he did not want to do that. Off camera, he's like, no, I want you to do everything, didn't you? You're like, I don't want to do this. You All got right. a laptop case carrying in, uh, in the back. Okay. You got an iPod, iPhone type of pocket on the, on the front. You could actually run the headset out of here. That most people don't know there's a... Uh, it's a little opening There's a right tube there. router right there. Yeah, right there. You can actually yep. run the headset out. You can or run your camel back in that. This is not sewn, so you could actually go into the main compartment and run your headset out of here. All right. Uh, uh, only thing I would improve on that, that looks to be maybe about a 2300 cubic inch pack. Do you know offhand? I don't know offhand. Okay, so kind of on the side of maybe getting to the area where Kelty Red Wing is, but it's got no suspension. I know you want it's kind of built as a laptop pack. It's more of a daily use travel bag. Okay. Laptop carrier. Yeah. Okay, so maybe not a full on tactical pack is Correct. what you're saying. Correct. All right, in that POU, then it's pretty sick. Um, price is probably pretty decent too. Very lightweight though. What's the name of it again? Urban Go Pack. Urban Go Pack from Condor USA. There's a first aid kit one right there. Let's see what kind of material they used though. One material I really hate, Andy, is that vinyl coated, super heavy nylon. And I don't think that's it. That's an old material we used. And you've changed from that now. Oh, I like that. Uh, this like you it. can't really see, but does this line with something else? But yeah, we have updated. So you've ditched that all together. Correct. Nice. And uh, the MOPC that I reviewed, I looked on the interior of that. I think that was the polyurethane coated 500 denier, higher quality Cordero. Yes. Nice. All right, Condor USA. I think I told you everything I want to. Again, their apparel line is selling like crazy, and it's good stuff. Uh, I have heard one user have a zipper problem uh, with their Condor, one of my TMPers. So what does he do if he wants to get that fixed, and is it under warranty? It is. Um, all you gotta do is talk to the dealer, what they have purchased from, Okay. and then we'll deal with them. Okay, so they're gonna send it back to the dealer. The dealer will contact, contact Condor USA, right. and you're probably just gonna replace it since Correct. everything's made over in China. Correct. All right, fair enough. Um, if you, maybe you could upgrade your zippers on it. <laughs> You know, stronger zippers so they don't bust out. Have you had any issues with them across the line? We have some returns. Yeah. Honestly, but it comes with the mass production. Okay. And yeah, we are. I like your honesty. Problems. I appreciate it. Uh, another thing too, we talked about this, is when I took you to task on this mag pouch over here, you're saying that hey, across the line we may have some variances of it since it's mass produced, but we're working as hard as we can to keep that Correct. tight. Yes. All right. Fair enough. Cross draw vest, Condor, not a fan. Sorry, buddy. Hate it. Oh, mainly because that that pistol uh, attachment is kind of wiggly for me. If you put a plastic backing back there behind it and you stitched it to the fabric so it is a rigid panel that that attaches to, okay. and you really look closely at that Molly attachment so it locks in there, I think you would have a winner. Okay. You would have no wiggle. Just my data point. I know some other guys may just absolutely love it. Sorry if I differ. All right, there's a uh, 
sniper drag bag and multicam. Let's see how heavy this sucker is. Heavy. But you know what? Most of them, with all those features, are going to be heavy. Yeah, it's a lot of pockets. Yeah, it's a lot of pockets, a lot of zipper, and a lot of metal. Yeah, and there's like a backpack strap in the back, so yeah, definitely a lot of stuff in there. Oh, dude, I also reviewed your um, that plate carrier, the 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 early one. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's a chest rig. Do you have that on the floor anywhere? Because uh, I had a question. I don't that one up there. Let me see. Yeah, the one, I think you may just, it wasn't, yeah, it's that one, I think. Yeah. Um, there are some snaps and stuff on the back side of that that I just had the hardest time in the world figuring out. I don't know if it was that version. You had a couple versions of it, and I think you may discontinue my version. I'm not sure. Is that selling good for you? It's going, yeah, it's going pretty well. Yeah. All right. I, I, I'm not, I don't remember exactly. You can reference my review on it, though. I've reviewed several of your products, so. All right, signing off, SHOT Show 2011. Andy, thanks for hosting us. Thank you. Thanks for being honest and listening to the feedback of your customers. I think Condor USA is going to continue to be popular. Is there anything I missed that you want to tell the world? No, no. We pretty much covered it. We covered it. Gun cases, all kinds of uh, carry items. Uh, go to their website and then lots of dealers. You'll see on, uh, right now where I recommend to go buy your uh, Condor products. I'll give you a couple sources. Sure. Thanks, Andy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nut Fancy Project, SHOT Show 2011, Condor, USA.